Violence has been front and center in the campaign for Illinois governor. It was no different today after nine people were shot in Washington Park. Andrea Medina is live at police headquarters as we're learning more about the two people who were killed. Andrea. I've been in Lourdes. One, unfortunately, this was another, you know, instance of senseless violence. And Republican candidate for Illinois Governor Darren Bailey held a news conference today, blaming Democratic leadership for the deadly shooting. He says, uh, you know, that they are to blame for why this happened. But many are calling him out for using the tragedy as an opportunity to score political points. Gunfire on Tuesday night at Washington Park leaves seven people hurt and two dead. 19-year-old Khalil Denny and 43-year-old Lionel Coward were killed. According to CPD, officers found 43 shell casings. Police say just before 8 p.m., two groups of people were at the park when a fight broke out and shots were fired. With the two groups, I don't, we don't even have it fleshed out yet with the nine victims on who was on which side of which group and who may have been firing a firearm. It's a very active investigation. Hours after the deadly shooting, candidate for governor Darren Bailey and candidate for lieutenant governor Stephanie Trussell addressed the violence. They're dying in mass shootings and drive-bys. Everything is so much more worse for people who look like me since J.B. Pritzker, Lori Lightfoot and Kim Fox took over. The gunfire, the murders, the mayhem in Chicago doesn't have to be the norm. It's time for a change and that only happens when we fire J.B. Pritzker. It's that simple. J.B. Pritzker, where are you at? Fourth Ward Alderwoman Sophia King says Bailey isn't trying to solve the issue of crimes, but only get votes. He's coming here to a place where he's never been before, uh, race baiting. Community activist Andrew Holmes also criticized Bailey for using the shooting for political gain, adding that it's disrespectful for the families. Holmes says if Bailey wants to combat violence, that he needs to invest resources in communities that need it. You want to help? then collaborate with the people that are here to work to bring this a better place. I'm quite sure you've been looking at the news, you've been reading this, and you've been looking at it. If you wanted to help, you should have been helping then, and you can still help now. At this moment, police don't have anyone in custody, and CPD says that they're actively searching for clues to try to get the suspects off the streets. We're live outside CPD headquarters. Andrea Medina, WGN News.